What you call yourself, man? I mean, I go by many names, man. MHC, Mayhem, Artillery, and Currency, Matt Black, nigga, the Elohim, the Mach 90, Mac 11, Big Head Scientist, nigga, Low Mac. Scene of a debate between community activists and police over the tactics used in a recent police raid. Cron Force Hazik Madhun has tonight's top story at 5.30. And you've justified now wholesale kicking down doors, coming in with tanks. If you're holding any community hostage, the Oakland Police Department are going to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. One police raid, two very different points of view. Community activists are now speaking out about their concerns regarding an Oakland police operation in this community, where over 50 alleged gang members were arrested. A press conference was held here on the corner of 8th and Adeline. But I stand before you as the individual who ran Operation Nutcracker. OPD was there and tried to explain what happened from their perspective. Police officers who put their lives in danger going to arrest some of the most notorious individuals. I've been here 17 years and I will go on record and say this is the most notorious group of individuals that I've seen in my police career. But community leaders say they hear otherwise. Residents here, according to what we were told, were frightened to death, not by the young men, but by law enforcement. But has crime decreased in this area since the raid? As I stated before, we had 37 homicides in the last year and a half attributed directly to this group. Since Operation Nutcracker, how many uh, homicides in this area? None. Another issue for protesters are these words spoken by the Attorney General at a press conference following the raid. These individuals, as you see listed here and shown, uh, they're a type of urban terrorist. There is the Acorn Project, for instance, in Oakland. All volunteer and all fed up. I would have loved to got me a gun and went up to my roof and, and sniped at these guys or, you know, the violent, you know, get tough with these guys. You know, but, you know, uh, sanity stepped in and said, you know, if you do this, uh, you're going to get your butt blown away <laughs> kind of thing. You know, that, you know, we've had gun battles on my street, you know, guys pulling out Uzis at each other and that. And I figure if something violent is going to have to happen, I'll leave that to the police department. Paul Malone is an Oakland mailman, a member of ACORN, a community group with several political agendas, but one of them is ridding the streets of drug dealers. Biggest gang in the United States, you know what I'm talking about? Also, on the down low, we created the Crips, you know what I mean? Gave them L.A. cash that literature, and they, you know, crossed it up a little bit, started gang banging. Y'all should know what it is, man. Individuals, you know, wanted to be Crips, and that wouldn't prove to the blood. We ain't got to go through that history. We're going to talk about the town, though, you know what I'm saying? That's another part of the Jets, you know what I'm saying? We had to get up in here because, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what projects we at right now, man? These are acorns, the Tories acorn Jets, you know what I'm saying? On this thing, niggas know about these motherfuckers, though. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no Crips and no Bloods in Oakland, period. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas do what they want, man, but we knocking shit down. You feel what I'm saying? I watch individuals grow up, so I'm going to Hollywood right now to be acting like I say, man, I'm acting good. Niggas call me on a bad day, you feel what I'm saying? I got the trinkets on, how, how niggas be doing. What's that right acting. there coming up out your shirt, man? Just that, just that water thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I got you like my little sunroom. It was a little orange thing. I spray painted that motherfucker. So you know what I mean? Spray painted that motherfucker. Nigga don't got nothing less than 30. Hold on, let me see that. Put yeah. that motherfucker in the light, man. Now listen, that's small shit though. That's a role to play though. Yeah, Unfortunately, me, right. allegedly, they say I like to get in the car, I like to cop the neck, I like to cook the dog, I like to bag it, I like to get my money in and knock a nigga down. Allegedly, that's what they say. That's too many damn positions. You don't see the quarterback playing no wide receiver position, you know what I'm saying? So, my niggas. Yeah, hey, I'm going up the gray. Another bad day. I'm going to be hustling no more. I'm doing the same shit. You got one more in the shit. Check this out, right? I'm like a red nose pit, man. I'll be like that. Which weather bitches in the oh I talk this shit for real 
and them other niggas just flow. Really though, I get disappointed constantly. Cause these big ass bitches can't suck or fuck with me. Too many brothers, shit, I ain't never heard of that. Ten minutes, sister, man, that's every other ghetto rat. Keep a stack, but I'm stingy. Go for hours, bitch, then hit me. Snow that powder, bust that pussy. How could she ever give me stand on her mind and her spine? Call me Mr. Summertime. Keep her hot and wet. Man, that bitch, you know I ain't fucking lying. Should've put on Mac Blast, but I'ma give her this one pass. Change her name, put in her ass, so I can get all my cash. Yeah, bitch, call up a click, click, kaboom. That's how we doing out here, man. 18 squad. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy, Pop a lot. Mob ties. We on our way to Cali with it. Oakland to be exact. West Oakland to be more exact. If you want to be more precise, meet us at the old Acorn Projects. AP shit. Shout out to everybody in Oakland. Y'all get in the comment box. Y'all already know how we run it. Now, today... We are going to be covering somebody legendary in the town. Now, if you from the town, you already know what it is when you mention MAC, Mac Blast. But today, we are going to be covering Mark Anthony Candler, a.k.a. Mac Blast, a.k.a. MAC, a.k.a. one of the most notorious people to ever come through Oakland. If you listen to the authorities now, we about to try to get into it. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the homie MAC shout out to him free Mac, but you can't talk about Mac blast without talking about acorn projects and pretty much the acorn gang. So the acorn projects or acorn is a series of housing projects in the acorn redevelopment project area or the acorn neighborhood of West Oakland known as the corns or the cornfields neighbors to a wide variety of housing projects is bordered by the high rise city towers apartments and the low rise more apartments to the south cypress village to the west market street to the east and Tenth street to the north now it originally consisted of three units acorn one acorn two and acorn three now in the late 90s like everywhere across the united states they would go on to uh i want to say tear down but redevelop or gentrify the neighborhood to pretty much combat crime acorn 2 and acorn 3 were renamed town center apartments at acorn and the courtyard apartments at acorn anybody that been there before and after tell me if y'all even recognize that shit because anywhere you go or anywhere i've been shout out to brooklyn it should just do not look the same now now, according to Wikipedia, and it's well known that Acorn is the home of the Acorn Street Gang. They're going to note due to the close proximity skirmishes between Acorn and neighboring Cypress Village, as well as the lower bottoms occur frequently. The media would also mention an ongoing rivalry or a feud that they would have with a rival gang by the name of Ghost Town. I'm not sure if they associated with any one of those two neighborhoods, but my guys from Oakland, y'all get in the bottom, put me in a note. Now, some people outside of Oakland definitely might know my guy, Mac Blast, because his name rings. But if you're familiar with the classic DVD series, Coast to Coast, where they would go to different neighborhoods, Mac Blast would be one of the main people featured in the Oakland episode. And he would go on to detail some of the tales of his life and his many run-ins with death, which includes multiple attempts on his life and shootings one where he goes into vivid detail of how during one of his shootings it was the news crew out covering a separate murder somehow the information would get switched up and people would go on to think that he was deceased saying he would come out his door to those same project hallways he was standing in saying r.i.p to the last real one r.i.p mac so there's no way I could detail everything in this guy's life, but I definitely want to put y'all in the know of the people that y'all need to know about and that need to be covered. Now, everything for Mac Blast pretty much is going to hit ahead in June of 2008. That's when authorities would launch 
Operation Nutcracker after a three month investigation, they would go on to arrest more than 40 people, making Mac Blast almost the target of those raids. With the East Bay Times headlining articles, suspected Acorn gang members snarled and raid. ABC7 gang leader ordered to stand trial. So right off top, the media would go to portray Mark Mac Blast Candler as the alleged leader of the Acorn gang. Even though the lieutenant at that time would say that they were one of the most dangerous gangs in Oakland, I read that a lot of the other people had almost minor drug charges, but Mac Blast's charges would be the most serious out of those people caught in those raids. And based on my research, I read somewhere where they say he was charged with upwards of seven felonies. And the main charges out of those seven felonies was going to be an attempt murder, which I'm going to get to in a little bit. But with that and the enhancements that they throw on you, that could have sent him away for life. Now, in announcing those arrests in Operation Nutcracker, Oakland Police Lieutenant Ursie Joyner said that the Acorn Group was the most violent gang we've seen in a long time. And Joyner would go on to say Mac Blast was born and raised in East Oakland. But at the age of 14, he would move to the Acorn Projects and begin to flex his power, quote unquote. Now, Joyner said that Candler was involved in dealing drugs and got people to follow and idolize him and build a reputation. Now, in a news release issued by California Attorney General Jerry Brown, he would go on to say Candler was a prolific drug trafficker in Oakland and in Detroit and has been shot several times and is suspected to be responsible for homicides and a number of other shootings. Though he was only charged with that attempt murder. And now we're going to try to get into that. So it looks like the trial for Mac Blast's attempt murder took place in November of 2008. Now... This is according to the East Bay Times. They're going to say a man allegedly who was shot by a reputed leader of Oakland's worst drug gang testified that he had no idea who shot him in an incident at 31st Street and Martin Luther King Jr. Way on June 30th, 2006. He would go on to say, I didn't see anybody under questioning by prosecutor John Bruhard, the victim who didn't want his name disclosed denied that he told Oakland Police Sergeant Tony Jones that Mac Blast and his co-defendant Elijah Thomas, who some referenced as his cousin, were the people that shot him. When asked if he recognized Candler and Thomas in court, he said he don't know those people. He would later go on to add, they don't look nothing like the people who shot me. Now, that's very, very interesting because it would be a lot of questions into the raid of Operation Nutcracker. And some people would say that Mac Blast was such a force on these streets and in the streets of Oakland and definitely in the Acorn Projects area that he almost got the Larry Hoover treatment or the Jeff Fort treatment where they're gonna do anything they can to pretty much take him off the streets. He would end up being sentenced, I read somewhere to 43 years, I'm not sure. Shout out to Mac Blast. We waiting for you to come home. This should sound like an unjust conviction. But anybody from Oakland from that time, definitely the 90s, y'all tap in. Y'all let it be known. Y'all let us know what it was like in the Acorn Peace if you've ever been. I want to nominate them as one of the top five most infamous projects that we have and had going in the nation. Y'all comment below which projects that y'all think was the most notorious or definitely the most notorious y'all ever been to or heard of or never wanted to go to. If y'all want to tap in with my guy, Mac Blast, y'all make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Hustlanity Empire, H-U-S-T-L-A-N-I-T-Y underscore Empire, E-M-P-I-R-E. He be on there dropping jewels. He be on there talking town business. He be on there kind of going through the history. So if y'all want to know more, y'all definitely tune in with him near. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all know we're going to be back with some more real trill spill shit. Y'all hit the bell right under this video. Y'all get in the comment box below. 
Let me know who we need to cover, where we need to go, where we haven't been, who we missed, all of that. Email me, CC me, direct message me, tweet me, text me, all of that. I'm here for you. Already know what it is. It's your boy Pop a lot. It's the mob, 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 mob. <laughs>